All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Kal Halayim La, Obinawa, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakakadash, Rakata. All Father, all praises, our Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakakadash, Rakata. Double honors to the men of the Lord who have taught us this truth uh, for many, many years. Uh, this is your brother, uh, Kabash Kabash, coming at you uh, with another lesson. And um, the water for you elders for. Um, sacrificing your time and your life um, to help us, to help the, to wake up the nation of Israel. And um, I give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for allowing you to help us, you know, because it says in the scriptures, but by, we know the fear of the Lord through men, okay? And men who have known the fear of the Lord, that fear of the Lord is passed down from generation to generation, all right? And it is also written that is that it is high time that you awake out of sleep. You know, men, have, the, those men who have been going out there week in and week out prophesying are starting to reap the benefits of uh, or see the benefits of them being diligent because the nation of Israel is been waking up faster now than ever, ever before. You know, so uh, with all, let's get into it. OK, um. Let's go into the book of uh, Romans. Um, okay, the book of Romans, chapter 13. All right, let's go into the book of Romans, chapter 13. And, um, okay, let me see if I can find it. Book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, and that knowing the time, that now it, it is time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. And our salvation is, is nearer than we believe. Because you know why? Because what, what they wanted the disciples to ask you how was shy. How will, worthy paraphrasing, how will we know when um when he he, he shall return? Yahweh Shai. Okay, worthy paraphrasing. And Yahweh Shai said, earthquakes in diverse places. Um what else he said? R wars and rumors of wars, you know. And we are, you see what's going on in the Ukraine right now. And every day you look on the internet, uh, you can put up earthquake today or earthquake on this day. You can find an earthquake, probably several tens of earthquakes happening, if not hundreds happening around the world every day. You know, so our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. That's why it's high time for us to wake up out of sleep because you know how you say, you, uh, people say you go to church to get saved. You're not saved yet. Nah, you're not saved yet. Not until the Most High comes here and takes you up on that cherry or protects you, you know, or claims you or puts a, puts a mark on your forehead, you know, um, uh, then you're not going to be saved. Well, I forgot that scripture where he marked those that sigh and cry, if I'm saying it right. I don't know if it's the forehead, but let me see if I can find that, find that verse. Mark those that sigh and cry. Who are the ones sighing and crying right now? It's the prophets, man, the men of the Lord, okay? And some sisters too, you know? I'm not saying sisters can be prophets, but, you know, they don't, some of the sisters in the faith don't want to be here, man. They want to go up with the, to the, in the chariot with the heavenly father, okay? They want to be in, um, they want to be out of, out of captivity, you know? Uh, those, oh, mark those, okay? Mark those that sigh and cry king james version okay the book of romans chapter 16 verse 17 now i beseech you brethren mark them which cause divisions well no that's not it uh that's not it mark those salakia that sigh and cry okay uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Okay, so let's go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 9. Okay, the book of Ezekiel chapter 9, starting at verse 4. Okay, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon, upon the foreheads of them that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay. Uh, well, I was correct. I wasn't sure if it was meant if it said forehead, 
But yeah, man, the Most High is putting that mark on the foreheads of those that sign cry. Okay? How do you sign cry? Okay? You make a sound. All right? You talk about it. You, you let your feelings be shown. Okay? What are the prophets doing today? Through the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the prophets are going out week in and week out expressing how they feel about the abominations and sins that are taking place on this earth, man. Okay. What does scripture t tell you? I have sent out my servants, the prophets. Let's, let's get that right now. All right. Scriptures say, what they say? I have sent out my servants, the prophets. And, you know, you, you have this, this saying, particular saying in, in, uh, in a, a few different books, man. Okay. Uh, 35 and um, Jeremiah 35 and 15. Let's read it. All right. Jeremiah. As a matter of fact, let's just do some practice here. I need to get some practice going through my sword. 35 and verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, raising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye every man from his evil way. And amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you, to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear, or hearkened unto me. And that goes back to Hosea 4 and 6. Therefore, since you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject, reject thee. See, the heavenly father is slick now. He might not reject you now, but during that day of the Lord when he, when he returns, then he will reject you. Remember, let's go back to another scripture. Um, um, uh, destruction is preserved for the wicked. Let me see if I can find that verse. It says, uh, destruction is preserved for the wicked. I think that's what it says. Destruction is preserved. For the wicked. Okay. King James Version. Let me see if I can find it. I think that's it. Oh, the wicked is preserved for the day of judgment. Okay. Um, that the wicked is preserved for the day of judge of destruction. They shall be brought forth. To the day of wrath. So that's, that's point blank. Point blank. The day of wrath. They should be brought forth to the day of wrath, man. So just when you think you're getting away with a whole bunch of stuff you know you're not supposed to do. Okay? The Most High is going to... It says they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. So the Most High is going to get you one way or another. All right? Now let's get another scripture. All right? Um, Let me see here. Um, Let me see. What was that scripture? As if a bear met him and a bear met him. It talks about the coming of the day of the Lord, man. Because you're not going to be able to escape the day of the Lord. Okay, Amos 19. Okay, uh, let's see here. Amos, the book of Amos. Amos, Amos, Amos. 781. Uh, let's see here. 781, 781. All right, the book of Amos, chapter 5, starting at verse 19. Well, actually, we're going to start at uh, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of, of the Lord is the day of darkness and not light. And that's true. A lot of people think that the day of the Lord is peaches and cream. No, it's not. The day of the Lord is the day of darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went in, into a house... And lean his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. So, from all angles, when the day of the Lord comes, when when judgment is cast down upon this place, you're not going to be able to escape judgment. Okay, not even the people who have those uh, uh under, un, underground barracks or whatever they got. You're not going to be able to escape the judgment of the Lord. No matter where you go, where you turn, there's going to be some kind of judgment waiting on you. All right. Shall shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it. So you think the day of the Lord is going to be a day of light. No, it's not. According to 
uh, Amos chapter 5, verse 20, it, it says, Shall not the day of the shall not the day of the Lord, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? It's asking a question. Even very dark, and no brightness in it? Of course. There's no brightness in it. Okay? So take that how you want to take it. I'm just delivering the message. Uh, to next time, Shalom, and all praises and glory to Kaha Allah Yama, Obanawa Yahweh, by Shimi Yahweh Shai, by Shimma Kakadash Brakatai. Shalom.